Now we'll use our understanding of plastic behavior to study what happens at each step in the molding process. First, the effects of heating the plastic in the barrel. To first warm up the molding machine, the barrel heaters are used. Once the machine is running, most of the heat needed by the plastic is generated by frictional heat from the rotating screw. Heat expands the plastic by moving the molecules further apart. The screw then moves forward to fill and pack the mold. There is a fixed volume of plastic transferred into the mold. If we increase the melt temperature, we increase the plastic volume because there is more space between the molecules. At a higher melt temperature, if the pressure stays the same, there will be fewer molecules in the molded part. For example, if we increase the melt temperature by 20 degrees Celsius, which is 36 degrees Fahrenheit, a typical plastic expands by about 1%. There will be 1% fewer molecules in this same shot of plastic and 1% fewer molecules transferred to each cavity. That will result in more part shrinkage, theoretically 10 thousandths of an inch per inch or 10 thousandths of a centimeter per centimeter more.